we're in well near the centre of Avery. Um, this is where a lot of tourists will be fed towards. We've got uh, signposts which are dotted around the site. So there's one here. There's also the National Trust Cafe, which is just up there, and the Bar Museum. So behind me as well, there's the uh, pond. And over there in that direction is the National Trust Gardens. So Avery itself is a popular destination for tourists, but I guess any certain types of tourists. There's not a huge amount to do here, but it's all about the natural environment. Um, people will come and visit here and spend some time, maybe half a day, probably not a full day, and they might be staying in Bath or Bristol. Here is an example of the signs that you uh, find all around the site in order to try and educate people about how to use the um, site in a sustainable manner. I don't know if you can see, but if you look up that way, you might be able to see, but most of it is green field, but there's a little bit of erosion. I think you can see it's the way the rock has become exposed. So you can see where people have walked up, it's slightly eroded. Um, so all around the site we're going to see examples of this. And this is what people have come to see, the stones, which are on the circle. This is the northwest sector, so we just walked from the National Trust Cafe, heading towards the first sector that we come to. So this um, bit of sign down here, this is new. So we've got the bit that we've seen before, about respecting the site. But there's a message from the AB Warden team, so the people who are responsible work for the National Trust to try and make sure that tourists don't have to cause detrimental impact. And they're talking about sheep, sheep dung and hay crops and saying it's essential um, and it's just something you have to deal with if you're going to come and visit this site. Also, um, access to the stone circles themselves, there's a gate here um, which does close, self close, so it keeps the sheep in. Sorry about the noise, there's a nice Audi. I wouldn't mind an Audi. Um, and down here, they put down chippings. So where people are walking in and out of the stone circle, there's going to be a large amount of erosion. And also, if you notice down here, I don't know if you can see, but they've laid a bit of turf over the top and on this side as well, where obviously people have been walking along. So this helps to bind the ground together, will absorb the moisture, and try and reduce the amount of erosion. If we walk, can you walk? Can you walk and film? <laughs> right. So here we have the, the stones themselves. And if you pan up towards there, ma'am, you can see that we've got quite a large amount of erosion taking place as people scramble up the hills and try and get a good look. So these are the kick steps and evidence that you could argue that tourists are having a detrimental impact on the site. And further up in that direction, they look like ants. There you all are. So there's the main road, you can see the bus coming along there, so it gets getting very, very busy and can be quite dangerous. Right, so here we are just about to go onto the road, um, and there's a car going past now, or Land Rover, National Trust Land Rover. So it's quite busy, although what time are we now? It's five past ten, so it's not rush hour, but it goes right through the middle of the site, so it can be quite dangerous. If you look over to the towards the right here, they put gates in. And again, there was some erosion down here where uh, people were walking. Beforehand, before the steps were here, it wouldn't have been like that. It would have been like um, the footpath on the other side that we saw just now. Um, down here, you can see in the back, you can see where they haven't implemented any kind of strategies. <laughs> um, the erosion is still occurring. So they build these steps up the side, and if they hadn't have done, it would have also increased erosion. Uh, when it rains, the material would have been um, swept down the side of the hill, um, causing gullying and various other problems. Like. So although you could argue that this is encroaching on the natural environment, you could also be arguing that this is a necessary step to take in order to make sure that the site um, doesn't get worse. Right behind me now is the National Trust shop, which um, we looked at just now, but it's open. It's very good. I bought a duck called Oliver last year, and I then bought another one called Pamela. And coincidentally, that's the name of my mum and my brother. But anyway, I digress. This is the shop. It's in keeping with the environment. Um, there are no kind of big um, chain stores here. There's no Tesco's. Tesco's been no McDonald's. Thank goodness. So, although the area has been modified for, to cope with tourists, it's done in such a way that it tries not to detract from the natural environment. Right, this is the northeast sector. So as you can see, it's pretty unspoilt. Uh, 
probably not an area that most people would come to. It's slightly off the beaten track, away from the centre. There is some footpath erosion over there by the gate. But you can see there is the influence of the road. So, just crossing the road. Not too busy. So the sign back there showed that some areas are blocked off in order to allow the area to grow back. So it's called erosion control. So there is an area of footpath that's being laid in order for tourists to walk around the edge of the site. Erosion or evidence of visitors and tourists. Uh, over here by these stones, small amounts of footpath erosion. It tends to be concentrated around the stones themselves, rather than in the centre of the sector. So here we are in the northwest sector. Again, not quite so popular. Not as many stones in this as we head back part of the area. Georgia National Trust Cafe on this glorious day. Stop raining. It's raining this morning. I was a little bit concerned. But it's nice now. That's the visit to Avery almost complete. So remember, your coursework needs to be written up with evidence. Follow the instructions in the booklet. If you don't follow the instructions in the booklet, you ain't going to get the marks, believe me. It's important that you use a variety of methods to present your data. So graphs, pie charts, bar charts, and so on. And use photographs. Photographs need to be annotated. And when we got here this morning, there was just our coat. We're back at the car park, about to go back to school. And now look. Hey. So for National Trust members, it's free. Uh, but for other people, it costs us five. Then all the way around the site, there are boards like this to try and encourage tourists to respect the environment.